Hello and welcome to a torch review. Well, it's not much of a review really. It's more of a, what have I got on my head? Um, Olight, as you can see, the Olight badge is on the side of the strap. Olight have sent me another torch to have a look at and it's a head torch. My favorite kind of torch, the head torch, is because I can use them anywhere and everywhere. Now, you're probably used to seeing me wearing this. This is the Array, Array 2. S. I've got an Array 2 S and this is the brand new Array 2 Pro. Uh, this is an amazing light. This is 1500 lumens. My other Array 2 S is I think a thousand lumens and I love this. It's really, really nice. But the problem with this one is it's got this great big bulky battery on the back and then the light on the strap and everything on the front. Well, this one is better still. There is nothing on the back nothing at all okay so that's really good nice and small and lightweight so when you take it off your head there's nothing there and you can scrunch it up in your pocket and tuck it in your pocket quite nicely now the other beautiful thing about this torch is it can be pulled out quite simply just pull it out the little rubber strap like that it now becomes a little mini tiny little mini torch this is the Perrin 2 mini this is fantastic. Now you've seen me do a video on the Perrin 2, uh, which is quite a big one. Uh, it's a really, you know, it's a big torch with a, a 90 degree uh, torch light on it. Um, and I quite like the Perrin 2, but it's just a bit too big to have on my head. I wasn't keen on it, but it's great for keeping it in the van, for uh, magnetizing to things if I want to use a torch, especially if I break down and stuff like that. Whereas this also has that same thing. It's got a magnet on the bottom, so you can magnetize this to the side. I haven't got any metal, metal on me, but I'll show you when I get back to the van. I'll do a quick specs for you. Uh, but yeah, it can magnetize it to the side of the van, um, and I can do, you know, if I've got to do work underneath the bonnet, or if I've got to do... It's really handy to have on you. Um, now, clip on it as, as well, and the beauty is I can clip it on the front of my bag, and I can actually walk around, and if I want a light, like to walk around on the front, and I'm hands-free, I can operate my camera quite nicely, or if you're walking or hiking or camping, and you can actually have a light in front of you all the time, which is really, really good if you don't want to the head but the good thing is you can just slip this back into its casing if you want and then suddenly you've got a head torch okay so this is really really good okay really really nice really really smart you can swivel it up or you can swivel it down so it takes a really really nice fantastic little torch and i'm really quite impressed with it so not only is it a, a torch with a decent you know a decent light this is an 1100 lumen light so it's got a lot of power in it it runs comfortably at 900 lumens uh, 700 lumens 900 lumens I will like I say I'll go back to the car in a moment I'll just get the spec out and just show you um, but it runs comfortably at, at those but it is an 1100 lumen light so it's pretty bright and so it looks like my microphone's died typical isn't it really so I've got no microphone so you have to put up with me talking normally yeah so basically I've had to take it off my head just to see what it was doing I think it's got a lockout on it so you can press and hold it and it locks out uh, which is quite interesting but basically you've got the, the button on the top um, and then you press this once hold it and you get this very tiny dim light uh, with just a couple of lumens which is really really good for seeing your camera without upsetting anybody else you know you can see you look at your camera and you can work out what your settings are on the top of your camera and things like that without disturbing anybody and again once it's in your head torch it's quite easy it's hands free uh, so it works really really well like that so you can turn it back off one press now if you press and switch it once it remembers its last setting so its last setting i've got it on low press and hold it again it goes brighter press and hold it again brighter still press and hold it again it goes maximum brightness so it goes really really bright and it will rem remember its last setting so you just press it once and turn it on and off so we'll switch it back to its lowest setting so it doesn't blind me when i'm talking so yeah i think that's really really good now if you want that extra burst you know suddenly something's dark something's creeping up on you and you're looking around you know you can you know if, if this is how it works you know you've got it on your head and you've got your nice little light on so if you press it twice bang you get a really big bright two you know powerful light on your head uh, that was probably red that was right, single light double press and you get your maximum brightness torch okay so you have to have it on to get your maximum brightness it's like the boost mode the turbo mode the, the power mode so once it's on press it twice when it's on okay when it's on press it twice and you get that big powerful boost mode all right so and again that's what i was leading up to i was leading up to saying it's got a red light on it as well so double press and you get a red light which is absolutely fantastic for your night photography and stuff like that so yeah really really good to have a double press it's just a bit confusing when you've got a new torch in hand um it's just a bit confusing to what buttons do what i am going to talk to you back in the car just to 
to clarify it all but uh, this seems like a right mix mash of a, of a video really doesn't it um, but I do like the fact that you can slide it in and out your case um, quite easily and get it off your head and and get it down because I did find the other one was you couldn't get it in and out but it does come in and out and then it sort of locks in place with its its little clip on the back so yeah not a bad little torch altogether to be honest and it's nice and lightweight and it's going to last for ages so yeah I'll, I'll speak to you in the car because I've got no battery of iron I've got cold now so I'm back at the car now and uh, just going to get my coffee out to get a bit of a, a drink so bear with me two seconds this is real stuff this isn't just reviews I've been out taking photographs this morning mm. enjoying a bit of coffee as well so yeah the Perrin Perrin 2 Mini that's what we've got I'm going to give you a couple of specs and I'm just going to have a talk about it again a little bit more so we've got turbo mode uh, 1100 lumens um, will run for two minutes and then it will drop down to 250 lumens for 85 minutes uh, it's got a throw of 150 meters that's a massive throw to show you know to, to pump out the light um, normal high level is uh, 250 lumens and that'll run like that for 100 minutes so right so we've got our specs um, we've got 1100 lumens which is your turbo mode which should be um, when it's on uh, double press and that gives you your maximum power it's going to run out for two minutes and then it's going to drop down to 85 lumens and run for another uh, sorry it's going to drop down to 250 lumens and run for another 85 minutes so plenty of light there um, our next one is our high uh, we've got high medium and low so low is 15 lumens that's 26 hours 60 lumens which would be plenty good enough for walking around in uh, for seven hours so that's a good long time and then a high at 250 lumens for 100 minutes so basically you've got to press it press it to turn it on that's so we turn it on press and hold one two three four so you can see they go up in different levels and when you get to the, the level you want you let go of it and that's what's going to stay on so that's on a high that's 250 lumens which is plenty bright enough okay so we turn it off and it remember its last setting uh, it should remember its last setting anyway okay um moonlight uh press and hold and that'll last for 10 days at 21 lumens that's that's quite a long time in it red light it's got the red light so double press you get your red light okay and then if you press and hold it again it goes on to flashing all right so i couldn't i couldn't actually see the light and what that is is an sos flash an sos flash with a red light is a really really good safety thing so if you're in trouble switch that on and just leave it running and it will just keep running okay this has got like a little um magnet on the bottom like i said you can attach it to things so it's quite easily to be attached so if you want you you know you've got your torch on and you want to have a look and something you can turn your put your torch on magnetize it to something and it will stick to the to the car you know and you've got you've got a light there it's handy um like i said it's really really good comes with a little charger the charger is a magnetic charger uh which is in here the magnetic charger is really good as well uh, basically you just literally attach it like that so there's no pressing it in no trying to find the, the plug to plug it into anything plug it in and it's away it goes it starts charging it comes on with a red light and then it go green when it's fully charged so that is pretty awesome really uh, very easy to charge uh, no messing around trying to find like i say trying to find that little hole in the dark um really really good if you're interested in the ra2 pro there's the ra2 pro and i did say it was uh it's 1500 lumens the ra2 pro and that's the one i've got in my pocket um but this this little one on the top now it's so much smaller than carrying all this um, and the fact that you can clip it on you know you can clip it onto your coat you can clip it on to anything um, i do really really like it so yeah the little perron mini 2 thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe give us a thumbs up i've done lots of o light things if you if you do want a decent torch and a very very bright torches uh, these are the company to have a look at um, and if you're watching this uh, pre-2022 but if you watch it any year uh, i expect i'll do the same thing every year um, i have been o -Light, or, o light are giving away uh, a torch so be in my christmas giveaway on the 25th of december at 10 a.m um, or as close as you can put your name down and you might find you get yourself a brand new torch for free and i'm also giving away a perrin 2 uh, the one that was sent to me last year i'm actually giving one away so if you do want a perrin 2 the bigger one get on my christmas giveaway right thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe give us a thumbs up and uh yeah job done bye I'm sat in the car at the moment and I've just been getting the instructions out, the little booklet, 
and it's got some instruction to tell you how the light operates. So you do actually get these operating instructions in the um, little box where it shows you how to put the strap on and the little red lights. So you've got a little light on the top of the torch. So when you turn it on, if I was to turn this on, you get a little light on the top of the torch. And it says uh, you've got a green light, an orange light, red light, and then a blinking red light. So basically it's 60% charged down to 5% it goes off. Um, so yeah, there's lots of little information on this. I don't do reading very well. I'm not good at reading stuff and I don't normally look at any instructions. Um, so it, it tells you how to turn it on, basically. So you just press it, press, and it gets on, okay? Press and hold. Let's have a look. Press and hold, and that puts it on to lock and unlock mode. One and two seconds. So press and hold. When you turn it off, hold, that's on, press and hold, and when it goes off, it's now locked, so it, you can't switch it on and off. Okay, so press and hold again, and now it works. Okay, so that's one thing it does. It's really handy to be able to do all this. And then it tells you to press and hold uh, one to two seconds. Okay, so press and hold one to two seconds. And that's now on lock mode. Press and hold to one to two seconds, and now it's come on. So you double press for turbo. There you go, double press for turbo. Now I'm blind. So that's why I said these little dim lights are really good. Um, and then it's got a rotation. So once it's on normal, you press and hold, and it goes through the rotations, which is what I've done with you. Okay? So then when it's off, you double press, you get your red light, then you press and hold you get your flashing SOS light. And then figure nine, it says you double press and hold. So if I go one, two, and hold, it goes back to normal light and locks. So there's lots of little functions, but do make sure you read this because they can be very confusing. Um, I also wanted to mention that it's impact resistant as well. Um, I didn't mention it when I was at the back of the car, did I? Um, they're impact resistant to normally 1.5 meters, um, and they also uh, I IXP uh, XP8, I think they are IXP2. I'll put them on the screen for you uh, for waterproof. It's XP IXP8 uh, waterproof, and like I say, 1.5 meter drop resistant. So yeah, they're very, very good and very, very robust. So I just wanted to add that on the end of the video because I know that some people are interested. You also get a really good warranty with them. Um, you get a warranty card in there. I think it's definitely a year. I think it's possibly two years warranty as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going now. I've got to go home. I'll need some dinner and breakfast. Well, I need some breakfast, that's for sure. <laughs> Ta-da, bye-bye.